you're probably wondering, what are we doing here? Well, as we've already started to talk about, Noah, this boat building dude that God had called out of retirement to do something really cool for him, builds this boat. One of the things that we fail to understand is how big this boat really is how big a project it was. So what I've planned to do is undertake a task that took, no, 120 years. But I'm going to do it in, uh, well, maybe just a few minutes, especially according to this technology we have in camera and video and all that stuff. But anyway, we're going to build an ark out here because I want you to have a real good idea of how incredibly large the ark is. When I get this built, I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about it a little bit. But let me go ahead and get on this thing real quick because I'm going to build it. I'm going to build it right here. It's going to be the ark. The ark. Cool. No doubt the ark was a ginormous project. If you look at this, this is the footprint of the ark. This is what it was. 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and another 45 feet tall. Now imagine it was built all the way up until 18 inches at the top. It has three decks. That means that what you see here was only one deck. It had three of those. It's this, the ark itself was over 101,000 square feet. It was 1.4 million cubic feet is how big this boat was. Now I know some of you are going to look at this and you're going to go, wait a second, he's built a square and not a boat. A boat has a, a little bow on it. It has these little angles on it and it's all shaped and rounded. But the truth is the Bible tells us that Noah didn't build a boat. He built an ark. God told Noah to build an ark. What is an ark? An ark is a box. And in fact, that's what Noah built. He built a box with three stories with enough room to contain all the animals. Now there's also been some people talking about, so wait a second, could all the animals fit on there? There's about 17,000 species of animals today currently on planet Earth. In Noah's day, we believe because of extinction and things like that over the years, there was probably more like 71,000 different species of animals. You say, well, would this ark be able to hold all of that, plus Noah and his family and, and all the goods that they have to carry with them? And the answer is absolutely yes. This ark could hold about 167,000 goats. Most land animals were smaller than a goat. Now, I know some of you are going, wait a second. What about the elephants? Uh, zebras? You know, the rhino, uh, all the other big animals. What about them? They were babies, little babies. They come, you know, little baby, little baby elephant, little sweet little, oh, it's incredible. But anyway, the little animals, the large animals were baby animals. You remember God's big on the small? God's got the idea of starting out with something small and going big. Well, here they are. The little animals are on the ark. So there was more than enough room to contain everything that God had told Noah to put on this boat. You also have to understand that Noah's 600 years old before he starts building this rascal. Now, can you imagine? Ready for retirement. He's got his 401k all built up and he's thinking, hey, we're going to go to the coast. We're going to hang out. We're going to spend some time together with old Miss Noah and they're going to be, you know, having a good time. I'm relaxing, but God says, no, 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 I've got a big project for you. And you know, I'm going to tell you this, when it comes to big projects, God doesn't pick the most opportune times, but what He does is He forwards the opportunity for us to do something crazy big. And do you think Noah regretted building the ark? I don't think so at all. I think Noah's like, man, this was the coolest adventure I've ever been on. God has not reserved big adventures just for the people that we read about in the Bible. The truth is, is that God has called all of us to an incredibly big project that only your life can do. And you have to make a decision. Am I going to do it? Am I going to take it on? Like Noah, he took on this boat. He said, I'll do it. He's a preacher. He's not a carpenter or a boat builder. I mean, this ain't your daddy's flat bottom. Look at this thing. This thing's unbelievable. But what he did was he said, I'll take you at your word, God. I trust you. I believe you. Let's do this thing. And so Noah is recorded for all eternity in history as being a man who was righteous and he obeyed God because he took on the big project God gave him.